Before we get there, we have to take a rewind back to the beginning of this ambitious project of mine. A week earlier, I tried my luck on making Taiwanese popcorn chicken, and it was such a good success that I dreamt of eating it again, and I was thinking, how can I challenge myself to make this better? And then, the idea popped in my mind. Why not make Taiwanese fried chicken sandwich? So I challenged myself, and I think I got a bit too ambitious because, well, you'll see. I did it! I was quite happy about this dough. It took a while and I almost quit halfway through, but it's over. And now the dough bowls need to rest for two hours. I'm not sure if this recipe is meant for non-KitchenAid users, however, if you're ambitious like me, go for it. I deboned some chicken thighs to be used for the chicken sandwich. I marinated the chicken in a blend of garlic, ginger, five spice, baking soda, salt, white pepper, sake, soy sauce, cornstarch, orange juice for one hour. Later I got some oil, preheated on high, and coated the chicken in sweet potato flour. I allowed that to sit for another 15 minutes before frying. At the same time, I applied egg wash and popped my buns into the oven for 15 minutes at 375. These buns turned out really well, and I think if I ever get a made, I will definitely be making these a lot more. Once ready, I fried my chicken until golden brown, turned in occasionally, and drained on a wire rack. The Taiwanese chicken seasoning is super easy. Five spice powder, salt, and white pepper. Apply it a liberal amount once the chicken was out of the oil, and bam, my Taiwanese fried chicken are done. I did not want the sandwich to be overly complicated, so we are going to go super simple. The toppings to the sandwich are super easy. Kewpie mayo, pickled jalapenos, fried Thai basil, green onions, and cilantro. And man, was this sandwich top quality. A tad spicy, but all the pieces of the sandwich worked harmoniously with one another to make a well-balanced sandwich. And I think to get better at cooking, you do need these little moments of defeat. This was a humbling experience, and I'm thankful for this. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. If you got a kick at my stumbling failure, please be sure to leave a comment and consider subscribing. This has been Jonathan at Let's Try Kitchen. And as always, if you mess up in the kitchen, you can always begin again.